Hey everybody, I'm Kirk with PDQ.com, and today we're going to talk about iOS deployments without Apple IDs. Now, in the past couple years, you used to need a dedicated Apple ID per device. That was a major problem for uh, administrators and systems. It was difficult to manage, hard to control, remote wipes weren't possible, and Apple has done a lot of upgrades lately with the Apple Business Manager, and things have gotten much better. So the easiest way to show you is just to do it with simple MDM, and so we'll dive in and take a look. So what you're seeing now is the main simple MDM dashboard under catalog. As you can see, I only have two pieces of software available right now. Just make a note of that. Uh, we'll, we'll call back to it. The where we configure this is under the VPP or volume purchase program through Apple Business Manager. As you can see, we don't have a token added to our system yet. We need to get one. So we need to connect our Apple volume purchase program license. The way you do that is in your Apple Business Manager, under your user profile in the bottom left, go ahead and click on your name, then preferences. From here, you're going to go under payment and billing. Once this loads, you'll see that there is a server token already here for us. Uh, it is the support and testing token, which is the right one for us. When you click on that, it will download your token. Then we're going to go back to simple MDM. And before we upload this, let's check our settings. So we have uh, use device-based assignment, which is the default for simple MDM. You can change that here to being user-based. However, it is recommended to stay device-based. So with our settings confirmed, let's go ahead and upload our certificate. We're going to add, or add the token, I'm sorry. We're going to choose the file, browse to the downloaded area, upload the token, and hit save. And once you save that, you can see that it's here. It's properly registered. Uh, it currently shows zero licenses, but if we go back to our catalog, and this is where it's important, you can see software start to show up. Now, where does this software list get pulled from? In your Apple Business Manager, under Apps and Books, these are the approved apps that you've configured. Simple MDM is going to sync and make them available through our system. So now with these apps here, you can deploy any of these apps that you've recently imported in to any of your devices. And you can target them directly or with groups. I hope that you found this quick tutorial helpful. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. I'm Kirk with PDQ.com and SimpleMDM.